Hey guys, welcome back to the X-Files. This episode is called Piper Maru, which I have to say is so pretty. It really sounds so beautiful. I don't know what Piper Maru is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. A lot of these titles, I have no idea what it is. I didn't even know what an oubliette was. I didn't know what a syzygy was. I don't know what Piper Maru is, but that's what I love about the X-Files. It teaches us many, many things. I'm really looking forward to this one. It has a beautiful title. Let's watch it go horribly wrong. Okay, so initial thoughts are they are going diving for something weird. They will find some hideous thing under the ocean, honestly. Dude, you don't want to go. Just don't go. Bioshock! Oh, radiation. Wow, how deep is he? So deep down. Oh, it's an old um, war plane? That's what they've been looking for. Drop dead red. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh no 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 no! It's dead. Oh what? No. It's not possible. Oh oh oh! Did you see his eyes? That's so freaky. The guy that comes up, it's either going to have like the weird eyes or he's going to be the guy that was in the plane. Oh. Oh. oh no, he's dodgy, his eyes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, so I don't know what those eyes mean or represent, but there's a thing with me that... I don't know if I've mentioned it very often, but like things with eyes, it freaks me out. <laughs> so this one's going to be fun. The guy that we saw in the bottom of the ocean was still alive after how many years? Hey, just going. Can I see you for a few minutes? A memo came across my desk last night. And it concerns me? Yes. And your sister. It's been five months and there have been no new leads or evidence in a murder investigation. I've been told the case is to be made inactive until further notice. Oh. I see. I don't think there's anything to be read into this. I think it's a case of manpower and workload. And I'm going to go back over all the evidence again myself to make sure that nothing has been overlooked. Hmm. That's disappointing. It's strange. Men can blow up buildings and they can be nowhere near the crime scene, but we can piece together the evidence and convict them beyond a doubt. But in the case of a woman, my sister, who was gunned down in cold blood in a well-lit apartment building by a shooter who left the weapon at the crime scene, we can't even put together enough to keep anybody interested. I don't think this has anything to do with interest. If I may say so, sir, it has everything to do with interest. Just not yours and not mine. Yep, exactly. It's in someone else's interest to not pursue it. So I am late. Anything up? No. It's nothing. What did you want to talk to me about? Something interesting came to my attention last night. <laughs> Something interesting. Longitude 171 East, latitude 42 North. Yeah, that's where the boat we know is the Talapus pulled up what you believe was a Russian sub and what I believe was the remains of a UFO. Something is still down there and now the French are looking for it too. So why all the attention paid to this site? What information are they acting on? Why don't you just ask them? I would, but the entire crew is being treated for radiation burns. It's thousands of miles away from any <laughs> test site. What? I'm just constantly amazed by you. I... You're working down here in the basement, sifting through files and transmissions that any other agent would just throw away in the garbage. Well, that's why I'm in the basement, Scully. <laughs> You're in the basement because they're afraid of you, of your relentlessness, and because they know that they could drop you in the middle of the desert and tell you the truth is out there, and you'd ask them for a shovel. <laughs> that's what you think of me? Maybe a backhoe. <laughs> that's good, because there's some garbage in San Diego I want you to help me dig through. <laughs> Oh, so the whole crew has radiation burns. 
You're here about these French sailors with the radiation exposure? The source of their exposure is still undetermined. The effects are degrading rapidly. Blood in the urine. Oh. Pre-advanced stages of coma. What kind of exposure are we talking about here? Maybe 400 runtions with a high rate of absorption. That's verging oh. on the levels of victims of Hiroshima suffered. Whatever these men came in contact with, it was man-made. Levels like this just don't appear in nature. Not on this planet. <laughs> Did you get a chance to talk to any of them? No, they were in pretty bad shape by the time they got to me. Except for one man, and this was strange, because he was the only one who seemed to be completely unaffected. Gautier. Would it be possible for us to talk to him? You could if he was still here, but he discharged himself this morning. He's a Frenchman, has a San Francisco address, his name is Gautier. Right. The guy with the funny mm. eyes. Does he know what's happening though? I feel he's being taken over by that thing that we saw in the water. And the other guy's eyes. The crew of the ship is being treated for radiation. Yeah, we got all that. We had a hazmat team pouring over the boat, didn't find a trace. Couldn't detect the slightest level. So it's okay for us to go on board? Sure. The guy with the eyes gives out the radiation. That's why it's not on the boat. I don't know how to explain this one. Oh, that's the dive suit. Ooh. Oh, that's freaky. Oh, what's that stuff? That's like the black stuff that was in the guy's eyes, hey? Generator's back up. Feels like home. Feels like somebody <laughs> was looking for something. I'm looking for the VCR. What for? The dive suit of the video camera. What the hell is that? Looks like the fuselage of a plane. It's a North American P-51 Mustang. Yeah, How does she know? <laughs> it just got very turned on. <laughs> it's the shape of the canopy. I used to watch my father and brothers put together World War II model planes as a kid. Would it have been carrying anything radioactive? No. And what was it those men were exposed to? I don't know, but I might know somebody I can ask. Whatever has infected this guy, he's looking for something. You're home. Oh, I was so worried about you. Why didn't you call me? Oh. There were these men here from the consulate. They said there'd been an accident. Why aren't you answering me? Why aren't you answering me? Oh! <gasps> yeah. Oh, that's freaky. <gasps> no. Does that mean it's whatever it is is transferred into her? Or can it multiply and go into several people? So there was something down in the bottom of the ocean that infected the guy that was flying the plane all those years ago. Do you have an appointment? No. He used to be a friend of my father's. I wanted to surprise him. Let me give you directions. I know my way. Thanks. Reminds her of her dad and her when she was a little girl, probably. That's her. Aww. And her sister. Her sister that no one cares Mr. about Gaudier. to keep investigating. Mr. Gaudier, open the door. It's the FBI. You know what? I think he's dead. He's dead in there. That's the name of the plane. All right. Oh, he's so good, isn't he? Oh. It's not that black slime stuff all over him. Mr. Gaudier? I'm with the FBI. How did you get here? I can't remember. I was on the boat. The Piper Maru? That's the last thing you remember? Yes. Where's my wife? Uh, nobody else is home, but somebody's been here going through your papers. You got some kind of oil all over you. What's yeah. going on here? I want you to try to remain calm, okay? And I'd like to ask you a few questions about a letter. About a J. Kalinchuk salvage brokers. I don't recognize that name. The letter's addressed I think to you him. Know why. I would like to speak to the French Consul General. I have nothing more to say. Well, he does know something. Right. Commander Johansson? Yes. I'm Dana Scully. I used to live three doors down. My father was uh, Captain William Scully. I, I, I went to school with your son. My memory isn't quite what it used to be. Richard doesn't live here anymore. I came to see you. I work for the FBI now. There's a question that I'm hoping that you can answer. I wanted to ask you about a plane that's been discovered. A P-51 Mustang at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. The call number is JTT0111470. You won't remember that. The call numbers of P-51. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, would the mm. word Zeus favor mean anything to you? 
No. Sometimes my memory is not so sharp. I wish I could help you. I wish you could, too. It was very good to see you again, sir. Oh, say hello to your father for me. I wish I could. Um, He's passed away. I'm very sorry. I remember all the kids used to play a game called Beckons Wanted. Right out there. If you talk to your son, will you tell him I stopped by? So she went all that way for nothing. Oh, hang on. Why is he dodgy? I thought he was going to have those eyes. Who is it? My name is Mulder. I'm with the FBI. Oh, she's hiding something. It's open. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Kalinchuk. I'm sorry, Mr. Kalinchuk's out of town. Maybe you can tell me where I can find him. The Far East. Oh! <gasps> I have a letter here. It's on his stationery. Oh! Maybe you type it for him? Sorry, I don't type. Well, why don't you just have him call me as soon as he can? What did you say your no. name was? Oh, Geraldine. Oh my God. <laughs> they have something huge. Huge that they're hiding. Oh. Oh, wow. Are they French? Mm. There goes that lady. Go on, Mulder. Go on. Oh, what? Hey, what? Hey, Scully, would you step out of the car, please? Just turn off the engine and step out of the car, please. What? What's this about? You're being detained. What's <gasps> oh! Huh? Pull over there. What is this? I can't give your regards to my son. He was killed in a training accident during the Gulf War. I'm sorry. There's something else, isn't there? We bury our dead alive. I don't know if I understand. We hear them every day. They talk to us. They haunt us. They beg us for meaning. Conscience. It's just the voices of the dead trying to save us from our own damnation. You know something about that plane, don't you? I know, because I was sent to find it. Oh, wow. As an officer in the submarine. <gasps> called the Zeus Fever. Huh. So he couldn't tell her in his house. Maybe his house was bugged or he thought he was going to get monitored. But her house, her car is a safe place. Older. I think I just found out what those men were exposed to. That P-51 Mustang was part of an escort for a B-29 carrying an atomic bomb. Just like the one we dropped on Hiroshima, only this one never reached its target. Says who? Right. Says one of the men originally sent to find it. Why would they build a nuclear weapon when they can salvage one? And why was the only person not exposed to the diver who was sent down to find it? Why don't you try to find out? What about you? I gotta go to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? What? Yes. Look, I'm gonna miss my flight, so I gotta call you back, okay? Wow. Oh, that lady. She's watching him. I wonder if we'll actually see Mulder in Hong Kong. That'll be so exciting. What do they want with Skinner? Anything not on the menu? We'll have to ask the waitress. Uh oh. You gentlemen have a problem. A hierarchy exists in the FBI. A man has status, like yourself, the assistant director. Those under him obey his orders, right? Who are you guys? We work for the intelligence community. Remind me not to move there. <laughs> you take your orders like those below you, Mr. Skinner. A case is made inactive, the death of an FBI agent's sister. Maybe that's because those above you have done the hard work of arriving at that decision. Thanks for the enlightenment. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> It helps to remember these things when a man looks forward to his career, oh. to his plans for the future. Wow. I can't see him putting up with that blackmail, though. The madness we planned to unleash on the Japanese, we ended up setting it loose on ourselves. We'd found the sunken squadron when a Japanese destroyer moved into the area. Captain Sanford ordered us to go to silent running. After three days, the burns started to appear. No one had seen burns like these before. Captain Sanford, I'm not an MD, but I know a lost cause when I see one. These men are all dying and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Just do your damn job. Yeah, so we've got to get us to the surface. We have to take control of this sub, sir. We're all gonna die! Oh, wow. We're dying! Can't you all see that? You've got to get us out of here! Oh! 
Our silence had been shattered by the gunshot. The only command that could save us from the Japanese destroyer now was a command to return home. An order I knew the captain would never issue. Johansson! I knew mutiny was our only chance for survival. But I also knew by sealing that door, I was sealing the fate of the men locked behind it. What happened to Sanford and the sick crewmen? When they opened that door, those that were not dead were dying. There were 144 men on that boat. Only seven of us survived. Whatever killed them, I was allowed to live. None of us ever got an explanation why. Who's that lady? The seat taken, Miss Kalinchuk? Oh! Geraldine oh. Kalinchuk, isn't it? <laughs> I noticed you flew first class. Must be good money selling classified government secrets. <laughs> I'm a middleman, Mr. Mulder. Pardon my gender type. I take a cut. Thin slice off the top. Why'd you run off to Hong Kong? To meet with a buyer. To sell him what? Pardon your gender type. Well, your buyer's a woman. Actually, you know, it's none of your damn business. Actually, you know, it is my damn business because mm. whatever it is you're selling is killing half a dozen sailors in a California hospital, which is why I'm going to arrest you. Arrest me? With what? Your chopsticks? They don't allow handguns here. They took yours away at the airport. <laughs> hey. Hey, you can't do that. Just did it. Now let's make a deal. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can't force me to do anything. Open it. Wow. Pardon my gender type, but after you. <laughs> hey, where are the lights? Right here. Oh, no. Cry check. I thought guns were against the law here. Yeah, well, you what? know what they say. When guns are outlawed. Why don't you take that gun and shoot yourself in the head like you shot my father? Great. I'm here in Hong Kong. Oh, why don't you just shut up? Oh. No way to treat your business partner. Oh, God. Oh. Looks like she's your partner now. <sighs> wow. Uh, Crycheck is involved in all of this? Oh no. Oh. Okay, he's gone. Thank goodness. She's just infected all of them with radiation. Oh no. Oh no, here we go. What is this? What is this? I'm going to miss the phone call. That's going to cost me time and money. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what else to say. So you're going to pay me the 175, the phone 8. No, you'll have to deal with the phone company. You sir. deal with them. Is there a problem there? Yeah, there is a big problem. Oh no, 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 no. Someone hired that guy to do that. Oh god, no, no, no. Um, I don't know. I think he may have died. I think he's dead. Scully. Agent Scully, we've just got some bad news. Eddie Skinner's just been shot. He's been taken to northeast Georgetown. I'm on my way. He's okay though? Oh. Okay, so just going back. Oh, that's Crycheck. How is he involved in all of this? <gasps> that's for your partner. This is for me. <laughs> this is for my father. Go ahead and kill your father. Now you tell me. It wasn't me. Yeah? Then who was it? No. Oh, no. Either way, Crycheck, you're a liar. <laughs> I'm innocent, Mulder. Do it. I want that digital tape. Well, like hell, you don't. I don't have it. I'll give it to you if you let me go. Where is it? DC. In the locker. I don't trust him at all. No. Oh. If you let me go, I'll tell you. You put that tape in my hands and we'll talk about it. And why don't you go to the bathroom and clean yourself off? If you're not out of there in three minutes, I'm coming in there to kill you. <laughs> 
I would follow him to the bathroom. Mulder, don't let him out of your sight. Yes, good. <laughs> uh oh. Who's that? Like a new man. Oh! That was. Oh my god! Oh wow! <laughs> wow. There's. This one was a little bit. Uh, a little bit confusing for me to piece together. I think mostly because I had some difficulty identifying all the women. Like Geraldine, the lady that worked for the salvage company. She looked very similar to, I think her name is uh, Joan, the Gautier's wife. They looked very similar with a very similar hairstyle. And also the lady at the restaurant where Skinner got shot, she also looked very similar with that similar hairstyle as well. So I think what is happening was that this, um, this stuff that's in people's eyes is getting passed along through to people it doesn't kill the host that it was once in but it is just passing itself along and I don't really I don't know I don't know why I don't know what that black stuff is but it's gone from the guy in the plane down in the ocean which is really honestly so weird because how long was that guy sitting there from World War Two? In infected with that stuff there must have been something in the ocean that has infected people I don't know what this black stuff is but I'm sure we'll find out soon so it's gone from that guy in the plane to Gautier the diver to his wife Joan to then through to Krychek and it's been so long since we've seen Crycheck, and that was a pretty epic reunion. I absolutely loved <laughs> the things that Mulder was saying to him in the airport with that gun in shoved in his stomach. That was awesome. Do I trust that Crycheck will hand over the files? Not really. No, that key could be to anything. So he really needs to go with Crycheck, like. Oh, but then Crytek is that thing now. Oh my God. Can this pass through to anyone else? And if so, like, what's the purpose? What is the purpose of that thing? What is it trying to do? What is that? I don't know its ultimate goal. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, Skinner, I have this weird feeling that he's going to die. I hope not. I hope not. I mean, he... Oh, I don't know. He was shot on purpose. They shot him on purpose because of that threat that Skinner had in that same restaurant. He's been threatened to drop everything. So they shot him on purpose. The purpose to kill, most likely. Uh, so I don't know whether that is going to happen or not. Really good episode to be continued. Thoughts on what may happen in the next one. I'm actually very concerned that that black stuff is going to go into Mulder or Scully or someone, someone that we know apart from Crytek. I just feel that if Mulder is going to be spending so much time with Crytek on the plane going back to Washington, there's a high chance that he could get infected with that as well. I really like this episode. It was a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I will see you again for the next one. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.